In his latest interview, Nadal was asked about Djokovic winning his 24th Grand Slam at the US Open and obviously distancing himself from Nadal's 22 Grand Slams. And this is what Nadal said. I don't have a feeling about it. I'm not frustrated because I did everything I could to give me the best chance to have the record. The interviewer responded saying Rafa, it's impossible to be frustrated with 22 Grand Slams. And Rafa's response was, no, it is possible. For example, Novak, he lives these things with more intensity than me. I think he would be more frustrated than me if he didn't have the record. And that might be the reason why he's achieved it. Now, what do you guys think about these words? In my opinion, they're not very classy at all. If that is your reaction to your biggest rival making history of tennis, and not only tennis, Novak is entering conversations of actually being one of the greatest athletes ever. So I think being his greatest rival, sharing so many epic matches, and being around him for almost 20 years, I think Nadal could have had some kinder words for Novak. Even if you bring the conversation to yourself, I think it would have been more appropriate to say something like, I'm actually very proud of having given Novak such a tough time and us having so many tough matches against each other and such a close head to head. Having that against the best player ever should absolutely make Nadal proud. But instead, he's kind of making an excuse as he didn't care that much about the record when I don't think it's the case. In the past three or four years, there has been this narrative of Djokovic caring more about the records than Federer or Nadal because Djokovic himself has been very open talking about him caring about the records and how he loves making history for the sport of tennis. Nadal on the other side has been more cautious and has always said that he's not obsessed about the records at all, he just tries his best in every tournament he plays and that's what he's the most proud of. But when you look at the actions of both, both of them seem very invested in trying to break the record. And you could even argue that Nadal cares about it more. Last year, as you guys may know, Novak could not play in two slams. And he actually had the chance to do it. He just had to take the jab and he wouldn't have had a problem to enter Australia or the United States. But he decided that his principles were above that and that he was not going to take a vaccine that he didn't have that much information of. Something that was vilified by many and applauded by others. But this demonstrates that there are things that are above the Grand Slam record for Djokovic. On the other side, I'm not going to say that Nadal took the vaccine just to be able to play all Grand Slams, of course. That was his decision. But last year at the French Open, he openly talked about his foot being absolutely destroyed, but him taking all type of painkillers and playing with, by his words, a slept foot just to have a chance to win another Grand Slam, which he ended up doing. But obviously, playing in those conditions is something very hard on your body. It's not the healthiest thing to do. And that just shows that Nadal does care a lot about the Grand Slam record and him having a chance to add one more to distance himself from Novak, who had 20 at the time. And another demonstration that Nadal cares a lot was last year at the US Open. Because it was well known that his wife had a complicated pregnancy, his wife was in observation and his kid was going to be born in upcoming weeks, but Nadal still decided to play the US Open. Now I'm not saying that this is right or wrong, but this does tell you how much Nadal cares about winning Grand Slams. I'm absolutely sure that Nadal would have stayed home if it was an ATP 500. So this narrative that Novak cares more about the records than Nadal and Federer, I'm not buying it. The three of them should be so proud of their careers, but in this case, Nadal and Federer have to applaud what Novak has achieved this year. And the scary thing is that he doesn't seem to slow down. I think we're going to see Novak winning more Grand Slams for at least two or three years. So, let me know what you guys think on this topic. Are Nadal's comments right, or does he seem a little bit salty in your opinion? Let me know in the comments below. That said, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you would like to enjoy more original tennis content of this style, and hopefully I'll see you all in my next video. Peace!